We're talking United, we're talking Solskjaer, we're talking Premier League title, question mark. A uh, couple of fans phoning in saying, you're being harsh. You're being harsh, Perry, man. They've been he's going in the right direction. Because they like Ollie, that's you know, why. Well, he's a, a nice leave guy. Leave him alone. We've got so many calls to get through. I want to try and write through as many as possible, so forgive me if we are short and sharp. Let's speak to a non-United fan. Let's get Adam, the Arsenal fan, up now. Good evening, Adam. Hello, boys. Yeah, like Hi, Adam. Said, I'm, I'm an Arsenal fan, but I... I Go think on. it's good to get a neutral fan's perspective when Go it comes to things like this. And, and and what I will say is with Sancho coming in and now by the looks of it, Varane, to a man, their 1-11 to 11 is good enough to, at the very least, push whoever finishes first extremely close. And looking at Solskjaer over the last couple of years, I wouldn't say that he's tactically inept, but he definitely lacks in that department. And, and someone like Fernandez... So you are saying that, basically. He's got, <laughs> a, um, he's got a very poor record against the top teams, hasn't he? But... I think that's because anyone with a bit about them, they just put him in a box and then he's out of the game and that's that's him. You don't have to worry about him anymore. And and I feel like Solskjaer, he's good for the club because he's got that money in the bank with the fans. Mm. But in terms of actually going that next step, I don't think he's the man. Now, Gary Neville hit the nail on the head a, a few times in commentary last season. He said, United, they're not playing well, but you'll get that individual bit of brilliance from a player that will either win them the game or, or stop them from losing it. And I feel like they've relied on that too much over the last couple of years where you're not actually dominating games, but you're you're managing to scrape through where... Individual brilliance. Is a pop up. Exactly. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. I don't, I, listen, I'm ch- ch- I want to get through some more Man United fans. Um, I think it's a fair point. I think there are some question marks that he def- definitely needs to answer. Let's speak to um, Isat. Um, here, who thinks that Oli's done a fantastic job. Fantastic, it says here. We're cap to left. Good, e- good evening, Hello. Isat. Hello, boys. Sorry, it's Essat. Essat, apologies, Essat, apologies. It's all right. No, I don't be silly, boys. Everyone gets it wrong. It's not a problem. Is it a fantastic job? That is a that is a strong word to use. Fantastic. Yeah. Go on, tell me why. you got you got to convince me on that one. 100%, and I'll tell you why. 100%. When, 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 when Jose... Don't, don't get the idea. I knew he was going to be like... <laughs> When, um, when Mourinho left us, he left us in an absolute state, right? He left, he left a team which firstly wasn't good enough, didn't have, didn't have good enough quality. He also left a team full of players like Luke Shaw, Rashford, Martial, Pogba, all players that were out of favour, kind of, you know, who he mistreated. And, and what Oli has done since he's come in in the two full years that he's had, he's turned all of them back on favour and he's brought all of them on side and bit by bit he's brought in top players Maguire wan Bruno you want another right back apparently no no he's not happy with wan you're trying to get Kieran Trippier yeah well that's fine because he's trying to get rid of Diogo Dalot so you need two players per position really Perry don't you so that's why he's trying to bring in Trippier that's just that's just all good teams need 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 cover and that's why he's bringing Trippier and it's not because he's not happy with wan it's because he probably needs another player so you in think there. Trippier's coming for cover Someone who's first choice for England is coming to Man United to be second choice. Yeah, definitely. Because look, look at look at Cancelo and look at Walker at Man City. Walker's first choice for, for England, and Cancelo's probably first choice for Portugal. But they rotate at Man City. I, I still so need, I still need convincing. I still need convincing that he's doing a fantastic job. Do you want to row back on that a little bit? A good job, an yeah, okay yeah. job, an acceptable no, what he's done, job. No, he said what he's done is no, he's, he's made everybody fan. happy. Is that what it is? He's that like, what it is? He's like a, he's a supply teacher happy. who comes in and he's in an unruly yeah, classroom yeah. and everybody likes so him. Harsh. Mr. Solskjaer comes in and goes, oh, we love Mr. Solskjaer. So he calms everybody down, but he's got A-level students in there and they're all getting B pluses. He's, he's done a fantastic <laughs> job. He's done a fantastic job. We haven't won anything, he said. First full season. Yeah, but that's fine. But when Jurgen Klopp first came in at Liverpool, he didn't win anything for the first but, couple but, of years. But, they, oh, they, but hang on, but hang on, but hang on. They wouldn't have well, said that he, that he was doing a fantastic job. They might have said, we see progression. Yes, we and see the an identity the playing. Exactly. going forward. But they wouldn't have said, yeah, fantastic is a strong word. Unless, unless, if you see, unless... If you see someone doing progression, is yeah. that, if you see someone doing progression and yeah. taking you on the right path, yeah. is that not someone that's doing a fantastic job? So no. do you think no. Villarreal is progressing, losing against though, them in the Europa League final? That's progression. Well no, well, no, well, no, of course it isn't. But it's progression that we've actually got, you know, we, we got to semi-finals and then we got to a final. Oh, that's, for Manchester United, Isa, are you realising, are you actually realising what you're saying? For of Manchester course, United, course, you're happy course, to get to semi-finals. On the day, Villarreal were better. On the day, Villarreal were better. Well, this, 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 this is what I was going to ask. This, this, is what, this, this is what I was going to ask. Is If you're saying you're doing a fantastic job, I can accept yeah. that. I can accept that not, if, if, if we're judging United through a different prism now. If we're judging United as an, a, not an elite club anymore and therefore getting to finals and just losing and getting to... If that is the, the bar now, then he is doing a fantastic job. If you're judging United as an elite club, 
that win Premier Leagues and Champions League, I'm sorry, I can't have fantastic as a word to use. He's of progressing. Course, man, you're not in an elite club. Man, right, so, right. Elite so if you're, if you're, if you're in an elite they're club, not, you don't lose to Villarreal in the final. But they're not an elite team. But they're not an elite team. Is that? Problem, is that? Is that? They're not an elite team. No, you're an elite football club. You've just said exactly. you, he's brought in brilliant. But you've got elite. Good enough. You've got. No, you've just said you've got elite players. You've just named five or six that he's brought in that are elite players. And to be fair, that team is that team is good enough to beat Villarreal. Is, is Solskjaer an elite yeah, manager? We got the better of him. If, if Solskjaer was let go by Manchester United and they're an elite football club, would the other elite clubs be scrambling to get Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? Absolutely not. He wouldn't even no, get another job in the top ten in the Premier League. That is, Perry, that is so irrelevant. It isn't. Because obviously, because it is irrelevant because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is a Man United man. Why did he get the job? Because he's a Man United man. Manchester United tried the because way... Because of his name. Names, like the David Moyes and the Van Hall and the Mourinho's especially. They didn't work. He said... Then they went down the road of getting, of getting a Man United man who knows the club, who to... can bring in his Man United staff like Mick Phelan, Michael Carrick, people that know the club, Darren Fletcher this season, and to build the club... To back get to rid of, the right, the there. dark cloud that Mourinho had left. So he did. He settled everybody down. He made everybody happy. That's as far as he can go. He's hit his glass ceiling. Thanks for the call, bro. Um, I've got one more here from Dan, United fan. Ole's bringing back the foundations of the club. Uh, good evening, Dan. Talk to me more. I, I, need to, I need to unpack that a little bit more. Evening, yes. Um, I think basically, like, the last caller kind of hit a lot of good, crucial points because I think what I, I, my personal perception of Ole's job is that he's come in kind of to oversee the rebuilding of the right direction, like where we've been before with the Mourinho's and the Van Haas, etc. That's been like the vanity. That's been the paint that should have gone on at the end when they won trophies running properly. So let, let, they won let, trophies, but yeah. everybody, everybody was saying, probably yourself included, that that was put in plasters on, on the, on the I, I, I agree with that, that actually. Sense. So it, it wasn't even... Okay, yeah, they won trophies, but it wasn't anything that could have been so seen when, as actual progress. So how how, now, how many seasons now, have you got to progress for? He's been there since 2018, lost four semifinals, won a semifinal against Roma, then lost against Villarreal. So how long are May United fans going to go for progression? How long has he got another me, two, three this, seasons? This me, even, even, being, even being an Ali fan, this season for me is crucial. It has to, it can't be, um, again, one of the callers before said, it can't be enough to just be the next best team in the I league. I heard this you last year. I, I, this so, so, sorry, Dan. It has, I, it has to, sorry, sorry, Dan. I, I remember hearing this just before the start of last season. This is the season he has to challenge. This is the season we judge him. Yeah, this only, is the only, season. Only only those who really still have that, that, that clamour for the glory of the days that we've just you know, been um, good enough to experience for the, for how many decades? Only those that are still clamouring for that and are, and are jealous of the Liverpools and let them have their time. Like everybody's got to have their time in the sun, and it, we have to rebuild. And this is this is what Ali's done. But you've always spent that we're, the, this is, the direction that we're going in now. Dan, it's as if you're saying you haven't spent money. any money. You've spent a lot Nobody of money. Nobody said anything about money. It's not about the spending of the money. It is because you've clubs, got to get the not, best not, out of the money you spend. Not, which is right, but the money that you spend isn't necessarily going to always be the denominator of how well you're necessarily going to do. There's teams that have spent a whole heap of money and have done nothing and have gone straight back down. The point being, and the point that I'm trying to make, is that what Ali is doing is he's setting the direction. He's redirected the club in the way of it building towards... Because well, he's made everybody happy. Because the playing staff and the players are happy, right? And there is a better spirit, which he's done. He did the job right at the start, what Edward wanted him to do, wasn't it? Calm everybody down, mm -hmm. get everybody back to which he did. He was like the, the supply teacher coming in and just make sure everybody's right. So he did that job. Then they gave him a contract too early, right at the start anyway, when he went on the 14 game like winning streak. Mm -hmm. And they thought, oh, and Rio Ferdinand, all he's driving the bus. Remember mm -hmm. giving it that? You think, calm down. Everybody's just happier with a group of happy players with the quality they had. Their results were going to improve because everybody hated it under Mourinho. I, I, I think when I hear was like fantastic and we're going in the right direction they're two different things i think you can be going in the right direction but it not be fantastic are united now a better team we were talking before we came on air i think united are better equipped now to win a premier league than they were under jose Mourinho, despite them winning two two cups however i don't think they will win the premier league but i think they're in a better position to win one now than they were under jose but and also to just try to pay just my final point I also look at the style of play. I think when you're a big club, you don't get to pick and choose 
play well, but we don't win anything, or we win things, but we're boring to watch. When you're a big club, it's it's both. You don't get to decide either or. No, it's winning. You get to... No, it's winning trophies. No, no, no. I, I disagree. I think when you're an elite, if you're if you're a smaller club, you can pick. We're not going to win any trophies. But we play good football, or vice versa. When you're Real Madrid, when you're Bayern Munich, when you're Man United, you have to win and win with style. There's no. I'm an Arsenal choosing. fan. I'm an Arsenal fan. You're right. I don't care. And I played in the team that we're, won. We're not Man United. No, no. When uh, under George Graham, mm. when we won two uh, titles in three years, mm. we weren't the most easy on the eye, but we were efficient. We were well organised. We did have flair players. Mm. Not one Arsenal fan would ever moan about the way we played because we won two titles in three years. Fans, I don't care how my team plays. If my oh, team, I do. my team if wins. If you're a big club, I think you have to play. You have right. To play so if football. you're t- so right. So if you're a big club mm. and your team's playing br- fantastic football. Mm-hmm. But you don't win anything. Mm-hmm. That's all right. In 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 the cup, in cup competitions, yes. No, I'm talking about in general. I'm talking about in league. So you'd rather in, see in, your in, team in, in leagues. I think, I for me, it's important how you play. If you're a big club, if you're a Stoke from ten years ago in the Premier League, you don't care how you play. Win games, and we will we'll win it. However, if you're Chelsea Manchester fans City, didn't if care you're just... how they played under Antonio Conte. When they played the, the free centre halves, wing backs, and hit people on the counter attack, I didn't listen. Care. I accept that lots of fans don't care how they win their football games. My personal view is, if you are an elite club, you don't get, you shouldn't be picking and choosing. When you have those players at your disposal, those resources, those managers, that money, you don't get to pick and choose. We're going to win, no, but pick, win this, we win this particular you do. way. That, I don't a, think you do. You're judged in your career mm-hmm. by what as an elite club an elite manager what you win not the way that think, you play I think it's both no it isn't I think it's both mate it isn't fans it's... are like I want to win I'll win at all costs you're going on the entertainment no 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 you I, are. I, no, no, I think if I'm not bothered about entertainment I, think, I want to win I think if you're a certain level of club I think the two have to go hand in hand you can't I tell don't. you can't tell Barcelona we're going to win the league but we're going to do it on the counter attack you can't tell Bayern Munich we're going to win the way, but you can't tell would... elite clubs <laughs> you by can't way, do Jordan, that Jordan Barcelona fans now would snap your hands off if they won the league they, in next season, going, for, going on the counter attack because they're desperate. But I, if they're desperate right now. I accept that. But in normal times, you cannot tell any big club will win the league one 0 every game. You can't. I'll for take, me, for me, no. So if Arsenal won every game one 0 we're not a big club no, anymore. No, but we're, Arsenal, but we're not a big even club when anymore. we were. No, we are a big club. No, not, not for so, me. No, not we're, for me. we're, we're, we're not still for a me. massive club, but we're not very good. There's a difference. Mm. You don't come from being a big club to. So Arsenal's still a big club in well terms, but we're just not very good. Arsenal, we're an average one on the pitch. Arsenal have a massive fan base and have huge history. That's Arsenal, a big club. Arsenal, right? No, no, no. And a big stadium. Don't, you don't compete for trophies. We're not even in Europe anymore. You lose your best players most seasons. So, you, don't, you don't sign the best players anymore. For me, so when Liverpool you've, didn't, you've, you've dropped a tier. So when Liverpool didn't win the, uh, the league, whether it's the first division or Premier League, they still won Champions no, League. No, for thirty years, <laughs> no, they, didn't, they weren't winning Champions League year after year for thirty years. Mm-hmm. They didn't win. The Premier League, so Liverpool weren't a big club. Though. I think when you put in a Champions League in that in that bad One. barren spell, well, you know, it's a, cha- it's a they were champions of Europe. So what? Right. So Arsenal aren't a big club anymore. Not for me. And you wouldn't have it if. Um, one of the big clubs, yeah. if it, if they won every game one nil or two one, and they won the league title, you wouldn't have that. You go no, that's not right now because I think Arsenal are not an elite club anymore. Of course I would they take are. It. I would take Jordan. it now. Arsenal I would take are it now. Still a big club, but we're not very good on the pitch. There's How big clubs go Manchester United have gone through times where they've been relegated, they've come back, right? Manchester United are always a big club, but you're not very good on the pitch. Because you're not very big on the pitch, it doesn't mean to say you're not a big club anymore. Man United fans, let us know. Do you care about how Solskjaer sets out your they team this season? Or off. do you just want a Premier League title and you couldn't give a damn how that Premier League title came? Give us a call. Give us a call. 08717 The Sports Bar with Andy Goldstein and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday night from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.